Last form. Questions, <coughs> comments, <coughs> suggestions, anything, any takeaways from last class? I remember just get breathe. confused in the remember middle. Remember breathe. Get confused in the middle. Get confused in the middle. <coughs> so just to reiterate, why do we do fast form? Decluttering. Declutter your form. Find the places to work on. Find the places to work on, your sequence work. Yes. And then I'm going to add <coughs> what Ms. Bain said, light and swiftness. It, it, it helps you understand the swiftness involved in Tai Chi. All right. Now you want to just dive in? Dive yes, ma'am. All right, shake it out. Remember, be your inner parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> your whatever those. <laughs> but they're super relaxed, right? So <laughs> they're clumsy, but they're relaxed. All right. And slightly quick. And begin. Do it again. This time, try to stay at my pace. Um, and what I'd like to emphasize is make sure, as best you're able to, that you're still putting in that shifting of your weight forward and back. Because it's very easy when you start speeding it up to make it all about hands. And what I'd like for you to start to experience is to feel with a relaxed upper body as you quicken that step back. This naturally will kind of start to happen. So. I want to make sure that that shifting is, is still happening so that you can kind of experience the, the looseness and the momentum up top. All right? Same speed. And begin. Silver mask, so I don't know about that. <laughs> any, any feedback or comments or questions? A lot more of that. A lot more of that. 
kind of hard for me to pace myself to you when you're getting back here behind me on those. Yes. In the beginning. Yes. I got a little ahead of you. That's okay. That's okay. And no, I'm I'm turning this way. You're over there. That's okay. It's no. Yeah. So that's even in even in classes where like I'm learning from Master Goring, there's the thing of if the instructor is behind you, that's you know it's okay because you're going to turn around. Oh, oh, I'm not I'm not where they are. Normal. Totally okay. Well, thanks. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> Good to thank know. goodness. Good to Out. Know. No. <laughs> no. It's not very Tai Chi of us. Um, did you have a sense of kind of what I was trying to describe about making sure you keep that shifting? Yes, and I, I, I failed at it. Yeah. <laughs> I failed at it not all the time, mm -hmm. but I, I could feel it, especially in the hidden hand punch. Ah. I just. Uh, I'm sure I Right Struggling there. with the, the hidden hand punch, speaking yeah. up. You, you want to take a look at it a little bit? <laughs> so, okay. Uh, so you're saying you have a difficult with the shifting? The shifting, I think it's where I lost it. And and it's going to feel, so I'm glad you brought that up. So the question is, the, the, some trouble finding that shifting and follow through in hidden hand punch as you speed it up. And I'm glad you said that because it, like White Crane and Strike the Shoulder, is going to have a little bit of a different rhythm to it uh, once you, you kind of quicken it up some. So, you know, to revisit, because we just did it, there's the shift, and then the sink and step, and then the T, and then the shift, and you keep shifting, and then this happens. It goes a lot quicker, and it, some of that gets in what we call internalized. So, if I were doing, <laughs> and, and so basically, it takes out those learning Cogs, those, those extra pieces that help you figure out how it gets put together. And the next time we try it, and we will have time to try it, just think, um, instead of thinking of all the steps, think, i got to take two steps and punch that way. Like kind of change your, like how you're organizing what you're telling your body to do. So if I'm here in brush knee push, this feels normal, and then it's step, step, punch. Your body will know what to do with the, the movements because you do it slowly so many times. But that's one of those that trips people up, like, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. I, you're finished with it having started it. Because it, it, it gets, it gets uh, walked through and um, kind of becomes more applicable rather than academic. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Do that help a little? Yes, it does. I'll, All right. I'll try that. All right, let's try it again. Can you wait? First of all, any other questions? When you strip, after the uh -huh. punch. I'm having trouble with that shift. With that shift, uh, uh, okay, good. So let's see, talking about withdraw and punch. Right, right. withdraw, withdraw and push. Right there. So, it's still there. Um, what I would say, if I, were telling, if I were telling myself what to focus on, I would not think about the arms at all and think about particularly that right leg as you come back. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I'll try that. All right, Thank good. You. Can try it again? Please. Yes, ma'am.
better? It's better. Yes, it did. Good. Felt, you. It yeah. felt better. Just think of that one, too. It just makes perfect sense. So, yeah, good. I mean, they said that, that helps. So, in your training at home, um, there's always multiple ways to think about things. And so, like we say, practice very slowly and practice, you know, a little more quickly. You can also practice thinking about what you're, what, 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 you know, sink down, step in, step out. You can think that way. And then you can also think, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to go that way and, and punch. So change the way you, or, or alternate the way that you think about your movements. If you've done a units on application, that will help you because you've seen them. If you haven't, this may not be helpful for you yet, but because you will learn them. But that's why we, we teach those. It's because it's like, why am I doing this? You know, otherwise I'm, I'm T and then I shift and then I look, well, what, what am I trying to do? Not get hit and then, you know, punch somebody while they're that way up here in the ribs. And so it, it, if you can play between the different ways that you imagine what you're doing, sometimes you can find a path through if something's tripping you up or not making sense. So when you chamber the fist, you're actually striking with your elbow? No, there's nobody behind you there. You're just getting you ready. I said there was. Oh, they're, they're fist this way. Oh, okay. I've deflected this way. So their body, basically they're like this, and then the hidden hand punch happens. Here. So the hidden is because then you've turned their back a little bit to you, and then this is here, they don't see it, and then they don't, you know, this is basically their, their shoulder and their arm and their head is facing that way. They don't, they don't, they don't see it coming. This is hard to describe these sometimes when you don't kind of like, you, come here, be my boogie. Uh, you know, it's, not, it's not safe right now. So we would try to find visuals to describe what's happening. Any other questions? Good work. Um, I don't know if you guys feel it, but I definitely see evolution and improvement you yeah. know, in the few classes that we've been doing this. So we don't feel it, but they that's right. Even if you don't feel it, but we see it. It's working. It is working. I mean, it can't not work. So good job. All right, let's go ahead. And, yeah. Okay. Go ahead and bow out of master's path. Auto head instructor. Now to intermediate, beginner level students and students watching at home, master's path training is dismissed.